actually it is. It is heritage. It is uh, a life that is disappearing. Yeah, here we have this uh, recency bias, bias as we call it. So everything now is celebrated. Everything now is remembered. And even something that was 10 years ago is like too old. So things should be recorded. That should be, but I don't know. I, I'm saying just speak into a dictaphone every day and somebody can just transcribe it. We, we'll get there, we'll get there, we can do this. I think it's very quiet. She's been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Monina, this is the pressure yes. this is on you. You have yes. to convince her to do it. I'm glad you brought that up because she absolutely has to write. Because whatever you say is right, it is about now, but now soon becomes then yesterday so we owe it to the future generations to record times and honestly Shamina, the, i believe that satyajit ray's films will remain classics for the next endless centuries and your record and work with them is important essential humanism because we connected at that feeling level so it is transcendent culture other cultures other you know the boundaries there was no yes. Put it to them directly. The romance of Obushankar lives on forever. Forever. Yes, but you must write your story because it's a very, uh, it's a very layered story. You're coming from uh, starting very young, working with this great master, then working in the cinema, then having all these romantic pairings with Rajesh Khanna and various, and then after that you have a child. Ask me about Rajesh Khanna. They have a I find the pair is so popular and uh, I thought you might ask me that. So you know, I've been thinking about it and I think I've cracked it because uh, I think both of us have a kind of vulnerability. Rajesh Khanna's, uh, you know, he's not Amitabh Bachchan, he's not Dhanendra, he's not Sanjeev Kumar. There is a kind of vulnerability in him and I think I have a little bit of that too. I think somewhere we complemented each other. Do you think that's the right question? I mean, right answer? Of course, so I think we can think about this. Yeah, I think about that. Yeah. that yeah. It's a vulnerability and this kind of softness, you know? The yeah. world that you inhabited was very soft and it was very, it was all about feelings. Nothing else mattered in those films. It was only feelings, you know? But uh, going back to what Anu said, you have to write that book. Because, because there are so many layers, and it's a story that needs being told and needs being kept. So yes. Think of what Temur is uh, 20. Yes, I'm, I'm kind of living my life at the moment. Yes, yes. Yes. Write it for Temur. Exactly. And the rest of us. What about Dinaya? Why? Ah, both, sorry, sorry, both of them. For both of them. And Sagar and Ibrahim. Yes. So, yes. so, yes. so, so, therefore, you can dedicate the book to all four. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse, so excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm extremely, extremely sorry to interrupt. I'm an artist, and this is my tribute art book to you. Uh, that was my first day's shooting. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's beautiful. On the very first day, I entered the film world. So it's very, very important. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And recently, Sabha, ma'am, noticed this digital artwork of mine. And I was overwhelmed that day that she noticed it. And uh, thank you, thank you for giving this opportunity. I could show, show my work to you. Thank you. I'm still uh, shivering out of joy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's a beautiful drawing, Anu. Beautiful. Very good. But uh, it's been a pleasure also to be on Film Companion because this is the first for me. I'm so glad both of you enjoyed it and genuinely this was so this was so amazing um, it just inspires me to go back and see all these films you talked about and to really you know uh, when you said Nasreen that you know today becomes yesterday very quickly but but to also see how we've arrived at today because of the great work artists like you have done Sharmila Ji it's, it's a it's a legacy it's a thread it is you know, you know because uh, Culture travels in uh, uh, the influence also travels. Yeah. It was Anika's film because he's the one who really broke away from the conventional style of filmmaking, which everybody's following now. The bounce life that was hit it because he didn't have enough.
up the right equipment to show up an EPA to contract, which everybody uses now. So, you know, but of course, Adul Gopalakrishna and Shambhavikar have acknowledged that they've been influenced. But even other directors who never really, probably have not seen, but they, you know, that, that trend has come true, you know, the multiplex in a so he has influenced us more of our filmmakers. Yeah. Yes. If I could just add one thing, you know, as you know, you don't know, but on the chat, there are messages from people all around the world, from Germany. They said, there's also a message from Algeria saying, we love you in Algeria. And then there is also a message from America and Australia. People all around the world at different time zones have woken up or gone back to sleep and woken up just to hear you. So I think uh, it's a wonderful thing. I'm um, yeah. that you've done this because I think I keep saying that I like a face-to-face -face interview rather than a virtual meeting. But I can see how convenient it is to connect. And uh, it, it's not been bad because I thought I'd be just chatting to the screen, you know. So it was sort of, I was finding it a little inhibiting. But, uh, but it's been fun. It's, it's, it's great. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Sreen. Thank you so much for taking out the time and, and thank you to all of you for joining. It's